What's up guys, we're back. Uh, already had some good action this morning. As you can see, got a nice mahi right away before I could even get my camera stuff out. Um, we got a nice current line here. You can see all this, all this debris. And it looks, it looks a little weird today because you got the dirty water offshore of the clean water. So there's blue water kind of up by Vaca and there's green water out. If you guys are familiar with our area, uh, out by Corvina too, um, which is a little weird, but uh, obviously it's holding some fish. Had a couple guys already see a couple mahi. Uh, I had one hit my bucktail, just kind of trolling real slow behind me. And uh, it's looking like it's gonna be a good day. We're already some good action. So let's see what else we can get. Today I'm using my sweet little new setup. This is the uh, Daiwa BGMQ 4000 on the TD Soul rod from Daiwa. It's a little Mahi and Tuna Slayer. <laughs> Super fun. Using that trusty white bucktail. Good for everything. <laughs> it looks good, it looks heavy. Woo! All right, baby. That didn't take long. Yeah, but good marks down there. Woo! That might be a bait, yeah. A lot of, a lot of twitching. I know, a lot of moving around. Oh! There we go. Ooh. Got a little heavier. Oh. Yeah, I feel like I got a white tuna or bonita for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this feels kind of jacky. That was a blue runner, man. Ooh. Oh. Hey, on the board. Hey, there you go. <laughs> bonita. <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw that. I s <laughs> witnessed. At least the bingo game like gives you incentive to get less exciting fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Which is good because like you don't always catch the, the big ones. Yeah, yeah. It's like you only need a needle fish to go get to get bingo, and you go haul ass to go catch a needle fish. What do you think you got? I don't know. It's, I feel jack jack like tail kicks. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna guess. Oh, white tuna. How big is he? Oh, I don't know. A pound and a half, two pounds. It's probably one of those, uh, uh, what is it called? A Panama Graysby. It's kind of, it's got like, it's brownish with like light brown stripes. It's got spots on its gills. It's either that or, or a flag cabrilla. Just uh, snap a quick picture and then I would let him go if he's, if he's too small to keep. Yeah, but I can't make him into a rock snapper, right? Not unless he's a rock snapper. All right. Whew. White tuna. These things are super energetic and <laughs> sketchy. Ooh. Oh God, hold on. Let's push it around the front of my bow here. You want it in front? Yeah, I will. I want them to be in between. So if you can pull them right in here, I'll try to go in front of that if you can. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> 
It's a little wide. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. You can reel. Better. You can reel. Huh? You can re reel them up. Yep. So you can stand there and the shrimp, I got the hook band and just about to release it. 10-4. Shark on the jig, huh? Yeah. Ah, these things are so annoying. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, yeah. I feel like it's a good hook set. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good hook set. This dude is that big. <laughs> yeah. They will cause some damage though. And these things are quick. I feel like the smaller the shark is, the more dangerous they are because they they can fight so fast. Perfect. It's always the way when I'm fishing. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he's hooked really good. Oh yeah, good. Nice. Okay, you're good. good job. Let me retie this real quick. Okay. Got something bouncing right over the bottom with that little bucktail. No telling what it could be. Scott just caught a nice Corvina, not too far from here. Doesn't really feel like a bait. Doesn't feel very big though. Maybe a snapper. Woo, nice yellow snapper. That'll be good for tonight. White bucktail again. Catches everything. Looks like the bait finally showed up. I'm going to try to get a few blue runners for the guys here. Hopefully these are blue runners. I think they are. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Ah, come back. They dove a little bit. You can see them going under me. The fish finder here. But they're bound to come back up. But while they're down there, I'm just gonna try to drop that crappie jig. Usually it doesn't, it doesn't sink very fast, but hopefully there's some that'll still grab it. Oh man, there's another school that way. I think they're coming my way. We got some mahi up here jumping. Let's chuck this popper out and see if see what happens. They're up pretty far chasing flying fish. Hard to know where they're at with the chop. Can't see their wake that easy. Look pretty big. Hey guys, if you're tired of jigging or you don't have bait, uh, I would I would troll around a little bit. There's definitely some mahi scattered around here. Um, I've kind of, I've seen them between like 70 feet and 115 feet chasing flying fish, just jumping randomly. Um, the best way to get them is just trolling those little divers or or the bucktail. All right, so what I like to do when I'm out here and the bait's kind of tough, I I get these uh, little three-quarter ounce, I don't know if you can see it, three-quarter ounce white bucktail. And uh, I just toss it out behind me, maybe about 100 feet or so. And then let it sink a little bit and just pedal around, maybe about two miles an hour, and just kind of jerk the rod every once in a while. And uh, there's some, there's some uh, debris out of here too, so there's a good chance there's some mahi. It's a good way to get tuna and, uh, and bonitas too, so. Uh, I think we'll I think we'll hook something here. Looks looks really nice. Uh, marking some stuff kind of close to the surface and some on the bottom here. About 120 feet, perfect depth for for all kinds of stuff. Hoping for some mahi here. here. Uh. Guys, another mahi on the bucktail trolling. Woo! Screamer! Oh, going to! Oh, he's gonna spool me! Ah! 
loosen up a little bit. That's the biggest one I hooked so far. Whoa. <laughs> God, Lamar, he's so much fun. Oh my God. <laughs> this one is definitely bigger. Ooh. Guys, I think they're hanging right on that uh, on that debris line. There's a bunch of trash out here. It's 125 feet. Rich and I just both hooked up. Heck yeah, get them. Oh, God, these things have so much energy. <laughs> Ooh, only got a 20 pound leader on here. This is gonna be a little sketchy. Their teeth are super abrasive. When they jump, they they wear away that line. So you can't put too much pressure on them if you're using light line. Might get a little wet here in a second. There he is. Woo! And there's so much debris, he's flinging it around in the air. <laughs> ay, 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 he's not done. Ay. <laughs> he's a pretty good one. I'm the, I'm like the tiniest reel. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, 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 it's about seven inches shorter than it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's been broken several times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been lucky so far. Like each one that I've caught, I've engulfed it, and I, I haven't seen it in his mouth. So I'm hoping he's engulfed it. But then also that makes me nervous because then he wears away the leader, and it's only 20 pounds. <laughs> And he's jumped a lot. And you got a pea shooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it. I see the jig. It's not engulfed. It's not? No. I just see white on the side of his face. Oh, really? <laughs> it's an unlucky mahi. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey, I think there's a mahi over here. Something's splashing over here with bait. Yeah, I saw one. Just ahead of me. They like that little bucktail. Just move it quick. I saw one waking, probably like between you and me towards the like yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would chuck that, chuck that bucktail and reel it on the surface. Oh yeah, I know. I, oh, I, I, I saw it once and then it went, and by the time I grabbed it, it was gone. He's gone, yeah. What do you and I, a lot of times you don't need to see the mahi. Like they can see that bait or they sense it from a long way away. Yeah. And you can, you can be within like 80 feet of a mahi and they'll, they'll see it and race towards it. Here we go. Get him nice and tired here. He's gotta be beat. We're probably over 30 minutes in on this fight. And it's not like I'm playing him too easy. Side, so I'm gonna try to pull him over there. Alright, 
Can't get him too much closer, that's leader. This is the tricky part here. Huh. Got him. He jumped so many times, he was going nuts. On the bucktail, just trolling. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're around. They were, they saw a couple, when I was fighting them, I saw, I saw a couple more kind of wake up. They were, they were in, a, I think a little bit shallower. Did you see all the sticks in the ground, in the water? Yeah. They were hanging around that. And uh, I was just kind of moving maybe two miles an hour and I had my bucktail just kind of behind me about 50 feet and I was just kind of jerking it while I was pedaling around. All right, beautiful Mike. Whew. 